Representative Ruben Kiwin, who came to the United States with his undocumented parents at age eight, is a first-term member of Congress. He represents the 8th District of Nevada. He's also a member of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus, which is facing the daunting challenge of unifying Republicans and Democrats around legislation to try to save the Dreamers with this six-month deadline. It's nice to have you, uh, you. and to see you again. Thank you, so is this deadline an impossibility to bring uh, some kind of uh, an agreement when we're talking about immigration reform that people have done un attempted unsuccessfully for 16 years? Well, first of all, thank you so much for having me here. Uh, you know, I myself was a dreamer. Uh, at one point, I was here undocumented. Now I'm a member of Congress. Uh, so, you know, to tell these dreamers just a few days ago that we love you, you know, I love dreamers, and then take away the status a few days later, I think it's very, uh, you know, it's disheartening, uh, very disappointing. But nevertheless, now it's in the hands of Congress. We have to come up with a solution to make sure that these 800,000 young Americans, including 13,000 Nevadans, uh, have an opportunity at the American dream, a permanent solution. Back in 2013, we actually had a compromise bill that both Republicans and Democrats agreed on that got more than 60 votes in the Senate and unfortunately came to the House of Representatives, didn't get the, the, the vote that it deserved. Uh, and now it... Again, we're in the position where we have to renegotiate, and I believe that we can make that happen. Can you do it in six months, realistically? I mean, I almost think of that example you just gave as exhibit A of why this might not work. You were so close and still, ultimately, couldn't get it across the finish line. I believe right now the sense of urgency is to help these 800,000 young Americans, the dreamers. Uh, they are right now, again, going to our schools. They are working. They are serving in our military. They deserve uh, reassurance that we want them in this country. After that, then we can begin the discussion on immigration reform. But again, I believe that even DACA or even passing the DREAM Act would be a bandit on a broken leg, uh, that broken leg being the broken immigration system. So you think it's a piecemeal solution? Look, at, at the end of the day, uh, I believe that it's going to be respons the responsibility of the Republicans and Democrats to come up with a compromise solution that the president is willing to sign. The president has said, you know, send me a bill and I'll sign it. That is part of the reason, you know, according to him, why he decided to rescind the DACA program, because he wants a permanent solution. Do you student. think that's true, that he decided to rescind DACA because he was really hoping for a permanent solution for immigration? Absolutely not. I believe that Donald Trump uh, rescinded the DACA program because he continues to pander to his shrinking base. Uh, you know, here's his base that catapulted him to the presidency. Uh, which generally tends to be an anti-immigrant uh, uh, base. If you rescind the DACA status from these 800,000 young Americans, it's going to have an adverse impact in our economy. $650 billion loss in the next 10 years by removing these young Americans. So you know, they're not taking anyone's jobs. If anything, some of them are entrepreneurs. They're creating jobs. It's one thing messing with the parents, another thing messing with their kids. These kids are as American as anyone who was born So here. what happens if you don't get reform? if in six months you can't pull together something that protects dreamers? Well, I, again, I believe that there's going to be some consequences paid in the next election. Uh, you know, the American people expect us to come up with solutions. And this particular issue, though, with the dreamers, we're seeing that even Republicans are in support of giving them some sort of legalization. What are you willing to give up? I mean, it's obviously going to be a negotiation. So are you willing to fund a border wall? for the dreamer security? Look, I've always said that uh, border protection should be a priority. Uh, when we talk about immigration reform as a whole, uh, when we talk about you know, the reform uh, of 2013, it included border protection, more funding for bo border agents, uh, for technology in the border. Border wall? For, so, funding the wall. Correct. So at this moment right now, um, we are going to begin those discussions. Uh, I'm willing to keep an open ear, uh, an open mind, and Democrats and Republicans need to come to the table 